All right, our article is going to start out today by telling us where in the world we are, and it says here. You're on vacation in La Paz, Bolivia, and you're waiting to cross the street at a zebra crossing. Now, some people call that a zebra crossing,、mm-hmm. and that usually is what you'll hear in the UK. So, in Canada and the US, we call it a zebra crossing. In the UK, you'll call it a zebra crossing. Now we use the phrase "on vacation." You're on vacation, yay! <laughs> Now, a vacation is time that you spend away from school or holiday. Or a holiday to get some rest and relax. Now, many people take trips for their vacation. So, when we add the preposition "on" to the word "vacation," it just means that you are currently experiencing or enjoying your vacation time. For example, I'm on vacation, so I don't need to set my alarm for 6:30 a.m. Yes. So on vacation, 就是 yay 度假休假的意思，所以就可以说 I can't wait to go on vacation this year. 我等不及要今年去度假了 Me too, even <laughs> though I just came back. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So let's continue on. It says all of a sudden you see what you think is a real zebra walking around. So you're waiting at the light. You're waiting to cross the street, and then you look up and you see a real zebra. <laughs>、mm. That's kind of strange. Yeah. Okay. We we use the phrase all of a sudden. This is another way of saying suddenly or just then. Now this means that something that wasn't expected happened very quickly. For example, we were sitting in the living room watching TV when all of a sudden the power went out. Okay, so all of a sudden 就是突然之间的意思。那我们就可以说 large drops of rain began falling from the sky all of a sudden， 就是忽然间就开始下大雨了。Or all of a sudden the fire broke out in the restaurant， 突然间餐厅就发生大火。Okay, so let's set the scene again here.、Mm-hmm. You're standing on the road, you're waiting to cross the street, and you think you see a real zebra in front of you. And what is the zebra doing? It says in the article, it's even assisting people to cross the street. Okay, <laughs> all right, but it's not a real zebra. It says, in fact, it's a person in zebra clothing, and they're part of the zebra urban educators. Okay, so this is a person. It's、mm-hmm. not a real zebra. Don't worry. There's no zebras in the street. <laughs> it's a person dressed as a zebra, so they're wearing the zebra costume,、mm-hmm. and it's an urban educator. So, could you tell us more about these words, urban and educator, Chiklin? So, urban means urban 就是有城市的意思、mm-hmm. It means in a city or a town. And an educator is a person that teaches people. So, an urban educator here、mm-hmm. means a person that helps to keep people living in La Paz safe, as well as guiding them to follow traffic rules. Interesting. So, 在这边这些斑马人呢，我们就叫他们斑马人，就是城市的教师，教导他们怎么去过马路。I wonder if Taiwan could use urban educators. Yeah, maybe, maybe we should. Maybe in the streets of Taipei or down in Gaosheng, they said, "Don't go through this red light."、Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We should dress like tigers or any、mm-hmm. other kind of animal, or like the Formosan clouded、mm-hmm. leopard, or or the、uh, Formosan sun bear,、mm-hmm. something like that. Interesting. What an interesting idea. All right. Well, let's find out what these people are doing in the city of La Paz. It says. The program began in 2001 to help cut down on road chaos in La Paz. Now, chaos is an interesting word. So, what does that mean? Chaos stands for a state of disorder and confusion, 就是混乱的意思。所以斑马人计划从二零零一年开始，希望可以减少 cut down on something， 就是减少道路的混乱。那我们就可以说 ，There was chaos in the department store when the bomb went off. 当炸弹爆炸的时候，百货商店出现了混乱。Okay, well, when I think of road chaos,、mm-hmm. I just imagine like cars and bicycles and people on horses going、mm-hmm. everywhere they want. There's no lights. Just like, just. Crazy. Yeah. So I can imagine that you know these urban educators, they're probably not very safe. Yeah. It's probably pretty dangerous, but、mm-hmm. hopefully they're teaching people how to do what they're doing. All right. The next line in our article says, at the time, 
many drivers and pedestrians were breaking traffic rules. Of course, if there's road chaos, that's exactly what's happening. They're not following the rules. Now, at the time is the phrase we used at the beginning of that sentence. We use this phrase when we want to refer to a specific time in the past, especially when it is very different from the current situation. Here's an example. We met Suzanne at Gary's party. She was pregnant at the time, remember? So here we're explaining when a person met Suzanne, she was pregnant, she's not pregnant anymore because that is the current situation. So at the time, just in that 时当时的意思 So at that time, people didn't follow traffic rules at all. That's right. So that's why we have this road chaos. Now, we also saw the noun pedestrians in that sentence. So let's talk about this to find out who else is in the street. Okay. So a pedestrian is somebody who is walking, especially in the town or city, instead of driving or riding. 也就是行人的意思 Mm-hmm. Okay. So. We also there's a lot of stuff to talk about <laughs>、yeah. in that sentence. So we also saw that people were breaking the rules. Now, when you break a rule, you do something that the rules tell you not to do. For instance, if the teacher tells you don't run in the classroom and you do run in the classroom, you are breaking the teacher's rule. Don't do that. That's not very good. Here's an example sentence: The teacher caught the girls smoking. And punished them for breaking the breaking the rule. So there's obvious a rule for the students that says、mm -hmm. no smoking,、yeah. and they are breaking that rule. So breaking 就是 break 就是打破的意思嘛。然后你就说 break a rule 就是去打破规则或者是违反规定的意思。All right. The article continues by telling us what the zebras or these urban educators are doing at, in as part of their job. So what are they out on the street doing? It says. The La Paz's zebras dance, make funny gestures, and help people cross the road. So it doesn't sound like they're getting angry. It sounds like they're actually having a lot of fun. They're even making funny gestures. Now, a gesture is the way that you move a part of your body to say what you mean or feel using body language. For instance, waving to someone is a gesture that shows you want to say hi and be friendly. Nodding your head is a gesture that can mean yes or that you understand something. Here's another example. In this game, you have to make people guess what you're doing without words. Instead, you can only use gestures. So gesture 就是姿势、手势的意思。It's a noun here. We can also use it as a verb, though.、Mm -hmm. The verb means to use a gesture to express something. So we we can say gesture at something, 就是有对某某个物品呢做示意动作的意思。So let's make a few sentences here. 我们可以说啊 ，We use gestures as well as words、mm -hmm. to communicate with others. 我们用手势和语言跟别人沟通。Or when I asked him where my pen is, he gestured at the desk. 就是 gesture at something. 当我问他笔在哪的时候，他就指个桌子。Exactly. Now, you know, you, we use gestures all the time, especially when we're teaching.、Mm -hmm. We use our hands、Gest、like this.、Mm -hmm. It means we're kind of trying to explain、uh -huh. something. I might go like this. I think something that Chigalina said is very good. I might nod my head、uh -huh. to show I agree.、Mm -hmm. So you can see, even right now, we're using gestures to explain、mm -hmm. and communicate with you. All right. So the zebras—they're dancing. They're making funny gestures. They help people cross the street. Those pedestrians. It also says here the zebras don't blow a whistle or use a flag like a normal traffic cop would. So they're not cops, right?、Mm -hmm. They're different. So they're not blowing any whistles. Now, a whistle is a small object that makes a high noise when you blow into it. Like that. Now you often see people using whistles at sports games to show that the players have to stop playing for some reason. Here's an example: The gym teacher blew the whistle, and we all started running. 
So whistle 就是哨子的意思。We usually say blow the whistle.、Mm -hmm. 但是 it's a noun here in our article. 我我们也可以当成动词用哦。那当动词意思就是 to make a sound through a special device or between the lips.、Mm -hmm. 那就是吹口哨。I don't know how to do it though. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> so whistle is a noun besides meaning the device that makes a loud high sound, just like Aaron mentioned.、Mm -hmm. When you blow into it, it also means the second、uh, the sound made by somebody whistling.、Mm -hmm. 那我们可以说 she always whistles in the shower. 她洗澡的时候都会吹。口哨 ，Do you know how to do it?、Mm -hmm. I do.、Yeah. I'm not going to do it, so I'm not very good. <laughs> so in English, we also say whistleblower. So a whistleblower is the person that tells somebody in authority about something illegal that's happening, especially in a company or like in a government. 所以就是有告密者的意思。So 我们就可以说呢。The company fired the whistleblower instead of fixing the serious problem.、Mm, that's、uh, illegal in most countries. Yeah. Though, so, all right. So we were describing the things that the zebra or urban educators do compared to what a normal traffic cop would do. So let's talk about this word "normal." Now we use the word "normal" to describe things that are usual, typical, or expected in a certain situation. Here we are saying that traffic. Traffic cops usually wave flags or blow whistles because this is the usual behavior. Now we can say it's normal because of that. Now the zebras don't use normal behavior for this situation, though. That's why we're saying that they're different. Here's another example with normal. Our normal hours are 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., but we're open late today because we're having a sale. 所以 normal 就是正常的、平常的意思。所以文章说，文章中说呢，这些斑马不像平常的交通警察，会吹哨子呢，或者是拿着旗子的那些警察。那 normal is an adjective here， 它的反义词是 abnormal 或者是 unusual antonym、mm。-hmm. So 我们就可以说 ，it's normal for Couples to argue, 就是情侣吵架是正常的。Mm -hmm. Or a little stage fright is normal before a performance. Yes, 表演前怯场都是正常的。So sometimes it's used as a noun too. We can say the temperature is above or below normal today. 我们可以说 above 就是比比一般的时候高，或者是 below 就是比较低一点，比平常低。Mm -hmm. Or he's trying hard to bring things back to normal. 他努力试着让一切恢复原状。Right. Okay, so here's what the zebras might do instead of blowing whistles and waving flags.、It、says instead they might lie down on your car if you stop in a crosswalk. Okay, so the idea is to encourage people to be better drivers through shame rather than punishment. All right. So shame here is a noun. Shame is the feeling of guilt or embarrassment you get because you have done something wrong, and other people know about it and think it's wrong too. So you can also feel this way when someone you know well does something wrong. For example, Harry felt a lot of shame when his father yelled at the waitress for no reason. I would feel bad、yeah. if my father did that,、mm -hmm. right? It makes you feel bad, and you go, "Oh, so sorry." <laughs> you know, this this feeling of maybe embarrassment、yeah. comes and comes and your cheeks turn red,、yeah. and you say, "Dad, don't do that."、Yeah. So shame 就是羞愧、羞耻的意思。It's a noun here, and we also say shame on you, which is used to tell someone they should feel sorry for something they did. So we can say shame on you for saying those harsh words to the old man. 你对那个老先生说那些话，你真该感到羞耻啊。那我们也会说什么 ？It's a shame that 怎么样？有可惜的意思。那当动词的时候呢 ？It means making somebody feel ashamed or being so much better than something else. 我们也可以这样子说，比别人好的意思。那我们来造个句子。The behavior of the students has shamed the whole school. 这些学生的行为让整间学校丢了面子。Okay, we also use the phrase "rather than" in that sentence. Now, we use this phrase to show that one thing is true or will be used, or other things. Now, in the place of another thing. So it's another way of saying instead of. Let's use an example. Rather than go swimming, let's go for a hike. So we don't want to go swimming; we want to go for a hike. A hike instead of swimming. Now, perhaps before you had planned to go for a swim, but now something else is going to happen. Here's another example: Let's eat out tonight rather than cooking at home. So rather than 就是有而不是的意思，所以文章中就是希望人。
不是为了怕被处罚才去遵守交通规则，而是自己本身的羞耻心哦。那我们可以说 ，A man's worth lies in what he is rather than what he has.、Mm -hmm. 一个人的价值在于他是怎么样的人，不是他拥有什么。Or I would like to stay home this morning rather than go out. 今天早上我想在家，不想出门。Just don't want to take my pajamas off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So instead of shaming the drivers, they're teaching the drivers through funny actions, which sounds a lot more fun than just being like, "Don't be bad."、Mm -hmm. Let's find out what else the article has to say. It says. So far, the program has been working well as drivers in La Paz appear to be more watchful than ever. All right, so we're seeing that the drivers are more watchful now, which is good news. When you're watchful, this adjective means you are careful to notice what is happening around you. It's often because you want to make sure that everything is happening correctly and safely. For example. The parents kept a watchful eye on their children while they played at the park. That means they were watching them carefully.、Mm -hmm. So watchful 就是警惕的、警觉的意思 It's an adjective, but we can say to keep a watchful eye on something or somebody or over someone or something. 就是去密切注意某个人，那被注意那个人，或是就是被监视的感觉啦。我们就可以说。Under the watchful eye of somebody,、mm -hmm. 那我们就可以说 we must keep a watchful eye on the balance between each school. 我们必须要密切关注每间学校之间的平衡 Maybe they're talking about something with the、mm -hmm. with the school,、right. and we can also say the students are under the watchful eye of their teacher. 学生们受到老师的注意，密切注意 All right. Well,、uh, that's great news for La Paz、mm -hmm. and for the people who are driving there,、yeah. and. For the government and for the pedestrians, of course, who、mm -hmm. might not get hit、yeah. by a car anymore, <laughs> thanks to these watchful zebras.、Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we are going to finish up today's article with our for you chat. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.